Mori. <laughs> Mori. <laughs> Soda car. Hi, Morty. Welcome in. <laughs> Morty like snow is not a miracle. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> hey. He's throwing things at me now. <laughs> I could cut. Oh my gosh. Welcome in everybody. Oh, I forgot something. Wait. Oh, I can't believe I forgot again. Wait. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Wait, don't, don't redeem yet. I'll play it. I'll play it. <laughs> I'll play, I'll play it. Hold on a minute, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay, we are playing Miracle Snow. We are going to play the whole thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna just start. Start, start, start. I, w I, w I was gonna do Overzone, but I, th I thought this would be more appropriate because I haven't played this story, so. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Aww. Enoch, how many resources are currently available? You guys, it's 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 Chad. It's Chatterson. It's Chatterson. <laughs> if limited to a radius of two kilometers, there are enough resources to last for two weeks. Is that it? I thought there'd be some leeway since it's winter. Drinking water consumption has been reduced. But we have been using a lot of water for washing. <sighs> it's because of Massilis. They have been so gung-ho about selling these new boiler systems. With that small a radius and a short time span, we're bound to get complaints. So are we just going to cancel it? There's not much else we can do. <sighs> People are going to be upset. Don't be so glum, Ingrid. I have spied with my little eyes a grand location. What location? Voila! Missing points at a place on the map. That just might work. You've become Mustang? What do you mean? <laughs> It's fair to everyone as well, so we shouldn't hear any complaints about unequal treatment. Isn't that outside the Ark's jurisdiction, though? Will it not be difficult to control? I don't see any potential issues. This area utilizes the same weather system as the Ark. Magnifique! Very well. Enoch, proceed. Yes, sir. For the next two weeks, artificial snow will be implemented within the confines of the amusement park at the outpost. 
Very good. Has it really been 15 years? Mustang, start spreading the word. For the next two weeks, the amusement park is open to the public. I'd appreciate it if you could also oversee the amusement park in the interim and ensure it runs smoothly. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> Ingrid, you're responsible for crowd management and safety concerning the elevator leading to the outpost. Also, assign more troops for us to safely wipe out all raptures. Leave it to me. Shall we make a move then? Anderson, Ingrid, and Mustang take their leave. Oh, Enoch. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas. where I am the amusement park at the outpost notice anything special it's snowing it's been decided this is the only place where we'll have snow this year you know me I'd never miss a chance to see the snow so here I am you know what it has been 15 years since it has last snowed I'm not too sure about the specifics but making snow seems to use quite a lot of water. That's why it's restricted to such a small area. There isn't a suitable spot in the Ark either. Um, hold on, chat. <coughs> okay. But it's better than nothing. At the very least, we'll have a white Christmas this year. Imagine snowing out of the... No, me out of dirt. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, I heard you guys got a lot of snow. I wish, I wish we had snow right now. Normally, where I'm at, we get snow like, like, in winter for sure, because dirt is everywhere. True. Forgot what my what my Tetra power ranking is. I don't I don't even know that. For me. You reached a hundred K in manufacturer points. What? You're number one? <laughs> no way! That's awesome. I think my Laplace is on under 5k alone. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. You guys play a lot. <laughs> Not only that, but all the rides are fully functional again. It's all thanks to a certain someone that we all know and love. And so, the special guest I've invited today is... The Master of the Outpost, the Commander! Sweetie! Why don't you say hi to our Lupin, sweetie? <laughs> There's hi everyone, then there's what's up y'all commander in the house? <laughs> Come on, you've gotta liven it up a little. You know, engage with the audience. Today, we've got a special treat for you all. We've prepared a special white Christmas stream. Dude, did a skip video response. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> what exactly will we be doing for this special occasion, you might ask? Why, I'm going to be Santa Claus for a day! Sweetie and I are gonna go around the amusement park and interview anyone we come across. They'll have to answer the questions they draw randomly from this bag. Anyone who gives us an interesting answer will get a prize! 
we've prepared mystery prizes ranging from R class to SSSSR class. SSSSR. <laughs> Shall we get started, sweetie? I'll do my best. I just realized I had I have two Snow Whites on this team. <laughs> like this. I like rupee proof that I max scored my rupee. Chalk up another victory for this But maintaining commander. her in cash would be hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. True. I'm gonna have to marry go round. Hmm. Aww. You know, I think one of my favorite characters in this game is Snow White. I, I do like Snow White and Red Hood, but I also like um, new, the new Rapunzel, because I'm... <laughs> she's... <laughs> she's core one. <laughs> Rapunzel, my Rapunzel Pure Grace is core one. <laughs> Alota and Mika are riding the merry-go-round. Rupi leans over and whispers in my ear. Wow, even Mikes are allowed on these rides? Yeah, pre-corruption, Rapunzel. Let's go on the Ferris wheel once we're done streaming. Just the two of us. Check it out, Lupins! We're now in front of the merry-go-round. Let's find someone to interview. Hmm. Vroom! Go, Black Typhoon! <laughs> uh... Looks like there are plenty of unusual sights around us. Merry Christmas, you two. Huh? Sugar, may I ask, why are you riding a motorcycle on a merry-go-round? I want to see which is faster, Black Typhoon or these horses. But the merry-go-round rotates automatically. Shh! Don't distract me. I need to focus. Uh... Well, that's not a good start, I'd say. N no, but I wasn't planning on interviewing Sugar in the first place. Uh... What's Milk doing here? <laughs> I'm practicing my pursuit techniques by trying to chase this car. I see. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I won't even bother interviewing her. The sleepy head is here. <laughs> Shall we head somewhere else? You know, I worked really hard on this bit. But now I'm starting to question myself. Oh. Wow, so pretty. Hmm? Hey, Anne. Huh? Anne flips through her notebook. Mm. Oh, hello, teacher. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I'm happy to see snow for the first time in my life. I'm only here because my notebook suggested I should check out the amusement park. And I'm glad that I did. Who's this pretty lady with you? Is she your significant other? <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Ruby. Haven't we met each other before? I don't believe so. Anyway, nice to meet you. Likewise. Oh, right. Is it okay if I ask you a question? 
If you answer well, you might just get a gift from us. Whoa, sure. All right, then. Ruby rummages to her bag and pulls out a note that has been folded twice. Now, the question I have for you is... Uh... Uh... Is everything okay? What's wrong? Today is just... not my day. I glance at the note Rupee is holding. What did you do last Christmas? What did you guys do last Christmas? <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if Cindy's trailer's out. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Hold on, chat. Wait, chat. I don't know. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think the demo's out yet. <laughs> Ruby stands there frozen, holding the note in her hand. Let's draw another one. Huh? What's the question? I want to see. Anne stands up in her, on her tiptoes, trying to sneak a peek at the slip of paper. It's nothing. It's just... Oh, I just slept all day last Christmas. I'm told that if I can't recall what I've done on a particular day, that's only because I was sleeping. Oh, you don't say. Interesting. Well, as promised, here's a little gift for you. Do you want to pick one of the raffle tickets from this bag? Sure. Anne pulls out a slip of paper from Ruby's bag. Now open it up and see what you've won. Um, it's a one wish pass? Uh <gasps> <laughs> What's that? <coughs> that means we'll give you whatever you want. Whoa. Whoa, really? You betcha. But to have the top prize appear so early isn't exactly great for the live stream. So, would you like to tell me your wish, Anne? Hmm. Oh, I know! I want everyone to be happy this Christmas. Uh, I, I see! Got it! I'll make your wish come true. I even if I'm not sure how exactly. How are you gonna pull this one off? You tell me! Don't you have any ideas? We can always spike everyone's eggnog down and make them happy. Or we could spread some Christmas cheer. Hey, that's a great idea. I'll call it Operation Christmas Cheer. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds cool. Excuse me. Hmm. Actually, if you're up for it, we could really use your help, Anne. I'll be Santa Claus, and you can be a Christmas fairy. Seriously? Yes, I'd love to! Just so you know, I'll be live-streaming the entire time. 
That won't make you uncomfortable, will it? Whoa, you are? So that means I'll show up on screen? Of course! I'm alright with that! Perfect! <laughs> then wait just a sec! You hear that, Lupins? We'll be having two special guests with us today! Let's give a warm welcome to the adorable Anne! Hey everybody, I'm Anne, and it's nice to meet you! The live chat is filled with viewers saying hello. Do you really think this is a good idea? Hmm. I'm planning to convert this live stream into a video. And give it to Anne! Aww. That way, it'll become a lasting memory for her. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> Alright, Anne. Shall we? Ruby extends her hand out to Anne. Let's! Anne grasps Ruby's hand, and they start to walk. If you believe in the Creator, you better start praying. St. Park's Arcade. Everybody is already in such high spirits. Do you think there will be anyone who needs cheering up? I don't know for sure, but off the top of my head, I'd say that we could find some lost children. We should probably head to a crowded area first. Oh yes, we did pass <coughs> by an area that was thronging with people a while back. Do you remember where it was? Ah, excuse me. Sure, follow me. Soon after. Wow, there she goes! <laughs> she simply can't be defeated, folks! That was Exia's 82nd consecutive victory! Look at her outfit. <laughs> simply remarkable! I believe we have a final quest <laughs> champion in our midst! <laughs> The next round of players are getting themselves ready. So, Exia, please hold on for just a moment. Sure thing! Hey, Exia, what's up? What are you wearing? Hey, noob. I'm participating in an offline Christmas event for Final Quest. Where all of the top players compete with each other in PvP matches and cosplay. Then they will be ranked on the PvP and cosplay scores they've attained. Right now, I'm sitting pretty in first place. They didn't know that you would come to offline events. I know participating in events like this is frowned upon. But the top prize is too good to resist. I mean, look! It's a Mach 3 supersonic horse mount! What's more, there's only one in the entire server, and it's even a Christmas limited edition. Who are you cosplaying as? <gasps> Wait, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm. Um, uh, I mean, I'm cosplaying Rudolph, a character in the game. He runs fast like a speeding bullet. Although their speed is the same, he looks much faster because of his motion. This costume is really nicely put together. Did you make it yourself? Nah, it's store-bought. Oh, right. Just to be safe, I want to ask, are you feeling okay? Hmm? Let me tell you something, noob. I've never been so happy in my entire life. 
facing off against top players and the promise of a unique mount. What else can you ask for? I have to take your word for it then. I thought so too, especially when people from all walks of life are gathered here in this place. It's just brimming with positive vibes. In that case, we should probably move on. Such pain. Such misery. <laughs> Is there anyone more miserable than me in this world? Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Everyone, look! There's an unhappy person over there! <laughs> it's alright. I'm sure she'll get over it eventually. <laughs> With that, Mina makes her way over stealth stealthily. I'm just so miserable. While everyone's embracing the holiday cheer, I'm just sinking deeper into the mire. You know, I am so excited for the new event. And Maiden's SSR looks so good. I'm so excited. If only someone were here to save me from this woe. <laughs> we'll help you. <clears throat> really? At last, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. No, I know she is. I know she is. I have her. <laughs> It's kind of a long one, huh? And there's like two parts, right, to this? I think we could finish it. Prepare to meet your maker. at it for long, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Look at all the happy faces in this place. What's gotten you so down? Three parts if you count hard mode. Oh, we're not gonna do hard mode. We're just gonna do the um the main story parts. This is a great place to have fun. Can't you just be happy? That's the problem. It's precisely because I'm happy that I'm unhappy. Huh? Don't bother trying to make sense of what she says. No can do. She might really be suffering. Anne is right. How can you be so cold, sweetie? Well, if you know her like I do, you'd understand. <laughs> huh? Huh? I wanted to participate in this event, too. It'd be a chance to show what I'm capable of and walk off with some cool prizes. That way, I could feel proud of myself for accomplishing something. But, due to my hectic work schedule, I only found out about this event at the 11th hour. I was in such a hurry that I forgot to bring my controller. Sure, this game can be played with a keyboard and mouse, but I've always preferred using a controller. If I have to use a keyboard, there's no way I can play to the best of my abilities. So, here I am. Forced to stand on the sidelines whilst wallowing in my sorrow. Oh, will this nightmare never end? Can't you just go home to get your controller? I'm sure you'd make it back in time. No, there's not enough time. The event will be over by then. Is there any way we can find a controller for her, Rupee? 
Hmm. I don't think the amusement park sells this sort of thing. All of a sudden, Ruby's live chat is flooded with messages. Some viewers say that they can send one via express delivery. <gasps> That's so nice. Oh, you guys! I'm so touched by your words! Y'all are truly my lovely lupins! For anyone who can send a controller over, I'll toss in one of my very own personalized scarves, signed by yours truly. It'll be like a gift exchange. Um, excuse me. Yes? Since they'll be sending one over, it'd be great if they could send a Christmas limited edition controller. It's a new model that's about 20 grams lighter. I... I see. Hear that, Lupins? Does anyone own a Christmas limited edition controller? Although there are not as many as before, we can still see many messages filling the live chat. Shortly after, Rupi randomly selects a lucky winner. Room! A familiar sound reverberates in the distance. Did someone order a package? <laughs> Weren't you just on the merry-go-round? All five races ended in a draw, so how did she get I there? Might so as well, fast. clock some hours instead. Here, can she someone sign so for fast. this? Sure, I'll sign for it. Delivery complete. <laughs> Room. <laughs> With that, Shikra takes her leave. Wonder if riding a motorcycle in an amusement park is a good idea. Never mind. Let's think about that later. You should be good to go now, right? Yes, I'm all set. Good Yay. luck! Mm. Thanks, everyone. I've got this in the bag. Are there off. any contenders who can actually beat Exia? Well, looks like we've got ourselves a challenge. Oh, she's serious. Put your hands together for Black Rose! And she's got a controller in her hands. How very unusual. Now, will Black Rose become victim number 83? Or will she be the underdog who dethrones our reigning champ? Let the battle begin! How would you guys rate this story? 1 to 10. ready! Seven? Okay. That's solid. That's average. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Not only did I lose, Aww. but it was also a crushing defeat. It's all right. I'm sure you'll win next time. Thanks. To be honest, I felt that we were equally matched in skill. But this infernal controller is what did me in. Uh, is it broken? No, it's because it's a limited edition. I didn't want to wear it out by pressing too many buttons. For the sake of protecting something precious, you've given up another precious thing. It must not have been easy to make that decision. Good for you. Thanks for cheering me up. You're such a wonderful person. You're not still unhappy, are you? <sighs> no. It's all thanks to you. What's more, I've got a limited edition controller now. Speaking of which, can I keep this? Yeah. It's all yours. Fantastic. Oh, I haven't been this happy in ages. <laughs> Glad to hear that you're happy. I should get going. Duty calls. Thanks again, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Merry Christmas. 
Aiden hugs the controller tightly against her chest and leaves. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, it's already dark. Shall we call it a day? Uh... Nah, we can still hang out a little longer. There's still plenty of time left. Eh? We always have tomorrow. Tomorrow... Yes. Not gonna lie, I'm a little tired myself, too. Alright, let's call it a day and meet up again tomorrow. Oh. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? N nothing We're just exhausted, that's all. I know, right? No need for us to go overboard. Why don't we just meet here tomorrow, say... 8 a.m.? Sure. I'm just gonna head in first. Get some rest, both of you. See you tomorrow, then! Yeah, see ya! And runs off in the second. <sighs> oh. Rupee? It's okay. We've captured loads of footage. We'll just show it to Anne tomorrow. And pick up where we left off. Tomorrow. Oh. Aww. Now that Anne will be here tomorrow, you won't forget about this, will you? Wait, she won't remember. She's so nice. I feel so bad about this. Let's get some rest. If we want to make more people happy tomorrow, we'll need our energy. Yeah. That's why she was sad. Oh. morning. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Um, I just don't know what to do. Ugh, I think I might have messed things up. I think I should bring up what happened yesterday. But she would have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> How can I not... Off in the distance, I can see Anne running towards us. H hold my hand, sweetie. If I'm about to make a mistake, give it a squeeze. Got it? Anne gradually draws nearer. <sighs> Here we go. You're making me feel nervous. Teacher! Ruby! Hey guys, you're early! What? What? Let's go. We gotta start spreading that holiday cheer. Where shall we go today? Um, can I ask you something? What did we do yesterday? Yesterday? We gave that lady a controller for her game. You actually remember? Uh, are you okay, Rupee? Uh, sweetie, how do you explain this? Can it be a Christmas miracle? I... I think you may be right. It must be a Christmas miracle. But even miracles must come to an end. <laughs> Anne, can you come here for a moment? Huh? Rupee takes Anne by the hand and disappears behind a building. Soon after. Ta-da! This Whoa. is a special outfit 
I prepared for today. Wow! Do you like it? I've never worn something so beautiful before. I'm glad you like it. I'm not sure if it will be comfortable for you, so why don't you try walking around for a bit? Give yourself a chance to move around in it. We'll be waiting over here. Make sure you tell me if something is uncomfortable. Okay. Anne runs off gleefully. When did you make her an outfit? Last night. I was a little worried about the size, but it looks like it fits her quite nicely. Rupi. Mm. I thought that she wouldn't be able to remember yesterday's events. So I wanted to make today a more special day. What's more special than wearing a special outfit? Especially if one of your closest friends made it for you. I want today to be so special. That it'll be a day she'll never forget. Not even when her memory is white. All right, let's do it. All right. Anne makes her way over. It's perfect, Ruby. It's really comfortable. That's great. How about we go for a walk then? Sure. <sighs> Good morning, my lovely Lou. We'll be picking up where we left off yesterday, spreading the holiday cheer. It's great to be back. That's so cute. Mm, I'm anxious. Did we get them? I've got to protect my sister. I can do this. Getting ready to rest a little. I may look like a bunny, but I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere. anywhere. Sorry. I hope everyone gets a chance to try this. <laughs> the strawberry waffle was so delicious. How about the parfait? That too. Are you okay, teacher? I don't think you've eaten much today. You two are bottomless pits. <laughs> I sure am. Well, at least when it comes to dessert. <laughs> what shall we try next? Sorry to bother you. But can we take a moment of your time? Huh? Polly? Miranda? What's going on? We've received reports of people losing their sense of taste at the amusement park. Oh no. Do you know anything about it? People's sense of taste has disappeared? Apparently, none of them can taste a single thing. It seems that all who filed a report had recently consumed something at the amusement park. We suspect there may be a shady food stall operating here illegally. Oh my gosh! 
Do we have to shut this event down? I don't think so. Everyone will regain their sense of taste eventually. It's either an innocent mistake or a very bad joke. If you see anything suspicious, please contact us right away. Have a good day! Have Polly and Miranda take their leave. What does that lady mean by losing your sense of taste? It's when you can't taste any, any of the food you're eating. That's horrible. Especially when there's so much delicious food out there. We have to do something about this. After all, this falls under spreading Christmas cheer. Sure, but how? We'll just have to try out all the foods available at the amusement park. Whoa, that's a great idea! Let's go! With that, we try seven food stalls at the amusement park. Our attempts prove fruitless. My stomach feels like it's going to explode! <laughs> hmm, I think that's all of them. Did you guys notice anything out of the ordinary? Ugh, so full. I can't take another bite. Oh, look! They're handing out cookies over there! Let's go check it out! Hmm, are you sure? I hope they're handmade. <gasps> What's wrong? Over there, sweetie! Look in the direction that Ruby is pointing. Come try these mindfully delicious homemade cookies. Step right up and try them out for free. Baked with the finest ingredients as well as love. Ha! Found it. <laughs> Wonder if Emma's the culprit of everybody losing their their sense of taste. Maybe. <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, oh, excuse me. Everybody doing good? Huh? They're all down. Reload. like a bunny, but I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere. Oh, hey guys. Sorry, I'm a bit swamped at the moment. Just one minute. There's a long line in front of Emma's food stall. She seems to be handing out cookies to every single person. This is not good. She's fooling them all with her outfit and affability. If we don't do something, everyone's gonna lose their sense of taste. These cookies sure look delish. I'm gonna get in the line. No. Hey, what are you doing, teacher? Sh sh she'll be setting some aside for us. So let's not disturb her. Is that so? Anyways, let's contact Polly, sweetie. What should I say? Hmm. I I'll leave it to you, sweetie. I think we found the culprit. I'll be right there. No, don't. Why? Emma is handing out homemade cookies. Oh, right. Hmm. That really does complicate things. How did everyone manage to recover their sense of taste? It seems to return automatically after about an hour. 
there are some exceptions who will get it back quicker than others. You can also get it back immediately if you drink some carbonated drinks or eat some chocolate. They give your mouth a good washing. They reset the taste buds or something along these lines. Carbonated drinks or chocolate? Yep. I'd give you some. But we're really we're busy handling all the people here. We don't have enough to spare. It's okay. Thanks anyway. Sorry about this. But can you handle this on your own? We trust you, Commander. I'll see what I can do. What did Polly say, sweetie? Let's set up a booth beside Emma. A booth? But what are we going to be selling? Medicine. <laughs> Chocolate and carbonated drinks. <laughs> I'm not scared, so long as Noir is here with me. Getting like ready. this! drinks or chocolate, you'll receive my newly released handkerchief. It seems that we've received over 100 donations already. I'm so blessed to have lupins like you. Wow, look at all this stuff. Want some, Anne? No, these people need it more than I do. So I'll have whatever's left over. Hmm? There's another delivery. I'll go sign for it. I'll go with you. No, you're busy enough as it is. Let me help you with that. And hurries over and signs for another delivery of carbonated drinks and chocolate. We have to ensure we are fully prepared before Emma starts handing out cookies again. Once again, the line in front of Emma's booth begins to grow. The line doesn't seem to be shrinking. She should be ashamed of herself. Duping these people with her ridiculous outfit and dodgy cookies. You can say that again. Oh, really? That is what you think? Actually, I think you wouldn't look half bad in that outfit. You think so? I'll be sure to wear it next time. What's in it for me, though? <laughs> I'll uh, wear the same outfit, too. <laughs> you definitely look good in it, too. <laughs> Alright, that's enough fooling around. I think Emma is about to start again. Let's get ready, too. Oh, we're still a little short on the items, but there's nothing else we can do about it. Let's just try to save as many as we can. Ruby, Ruby! Huh? We've just received a massive delivery! Huh? Room. <laughs> You've got another delivery. A big one this time. Behind Shaker sits several pallets of boxes. What's all this? Courtesy of the Talent Dome. Huh? My squad? Yep. Sign here, please. Delivery complete. Room. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice.
All right. Now we've got a fighting chance against Emma. It's time for a showdown. We're gonna come out on top, aren't we, Anne? You bet. Not exactly sure how this became a competition, but let's win this. I'll share my luck with everyone! There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Can I have a cookie? Sure, here you go. Oh, it looks fantastic. <laughs> of course, I made it myself. Enjoy. Yes, thanks. What the? Huh. My tongue feels rather... Just a moment. Here, have some soda and chocolate, too. Ooh, are they free of charge, too? Yes, they come free with every cookie. Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that everyone? Yep, it's all done. Whew, that was rough. I know, right? Soda with cookies? Yum. <laughs> Whew. We did it, guys. You've done well, too, Emma. To be honest, I think this batch of cookies is rather bland and dry. Fortunately, all that soda and chocolate made up for that. We make a pretty good team, don't we? We should do this again sometime. Um, I'll think about it. But it feels nice to be handing out gifts to people. Hmm? Anne, was it? Yes, that's me. Aren't you just adorable? You look like a real fairy. And you make a pretty good Santa, too. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, do you want some cookies? I've still got a few left. Oh, no, thanks. We're still quite full from... Yes, please! All right, here you go. Thank you. Oh, she does remember. Oh, she forgot. Oh, no. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> and... hmm? Wow, what a unique flavor. <laughs> you think so? Do you like it? I love it! Mm, that's nice of you to say, Anne. Mm. Emma gives Anne a hug. I'll be sure to make some extra cookies for you next time. I hope you won't be forgetting that flavor anytime soon. I won't. Trust me. Good. You're so warm and cuddly. Oh, um... Thanks? Come and give it a try, teacher. She's super warm and cuddly. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Commander, don't you remember? A while back, you and I... Oh. Did what with sweetie? Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, sorry. I mistook Commander for someone else. My bad. Oh, sure. Is that so? Hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, shall we continue with Operation Christmas Cheer? I... Actually, can we call it a day? I'm pretty beat. Really? Yeah, sorry. No need to be sorry. Let's call it a day then. 
Shall we meet up tomorrow? Sure thing. I'll do my best. Next day. Oh, it seems that Anne won't be coming. I was kind of expecting this to happen, but now that it really did, it hurts all the same. Sorry for being late. My stomach wasn't feeling well earlier. I think I ate too much yesterday. <gasps> Um, I didn't keep you guys waiting for too long, did I? No, we just got here. Anne. Yes, teacher? Are you not tired? Does your head hurt? Hmm, nope, not at all. I feel great. Make sure you let us know if you feel unwell. Okay, I will. Ready to go? Yes! After taking Anne's hand, we start walking forward. I don't know when the time for separation will come. That's why I hope to never forget this moment. On the surface. We should be there any minute, right? Yes, it should be that building up ahead. Wait, let me catch my breath. Sure, take your time. Ooh, all right, I'm good. Let's keep going? Yes! Four hours ago. In the midst of our mission to spread Christmas cheer, we find a mass-produced Nikkei in a trance at the amusement park. Ugh. <sighs> Are you okay? <sighs> Hello? Huh? What? Sorry, is, is there a problem? I was asking if you were okay. Why are you asking me that? That's because you look unhappy. <sighs> it's okay. A child like you shouldn't worry about things like this. In that case, let us adults worry about it. Huh? We're going around spreading holiday cheer. If there's anything keeping you down, then we'll make sure to lift your spirits. Uh, that sounds pretty stupid to me. How can you call doing a good deed stupid? Uh, sorry, I'm just rather sensitive during the holidays. Won't you tell us what's wrong? Hmm, it's just that... I don't remember much from when I was a human. The only memory I have is of me celebrating Christmas 15 years ago. Since it's my sole surviving memory, I tend to feel rather down around this time of the year. How come? Well, that's because I know I'll never have memories like that ever again. Especially since my family is long gone. I'm the only one left here. So, every time Christmas rolls around, I miss my family more than usual. Mm. How did you celebrate Christmas with your family? We would decorate a Christmas tree. It wasn't anything big or fancy, but our family would decorate it together. 
It was no museum piece, but to me, it meant everything. So, there. That's why I'm miserable. If I knew this is how it would be, I would rather not have any memories at all. Don't say that! Huh? Memories are precious things! Oh. Oh, where can we find a Christmas tree? I'm not sure. Probably on the surface somewhere, but I don't remember exactly. Stop it. You can't fool me. <sighs> Fine. I remember. But so what? It's not like we can go up to the surface. What kind of commander would go up to the surface just to look for something a mass-produced Nikkei remembers from her childhood? Me. What? I'll take you up to the surface. Yeah, teacher will take you there. No problem. Sweetie definitely will. What do you mean? A Christmas tree is a cherished memory that reminds you of your family. So we'll help you find it. On the surface. Alright, let's get going, Anne. Yes, Rupee. For the Christmas tree! For the Christmas tree! Let's go! Encounter! Bunny, but I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere. The mass produced Nikkei stares at the shoddy Christmas tree for some time. <sighs> the corner of her lips raised up in a hot, light wisp of a smile. She moves forward and takes the Christmas tree in her arms. There, she remains motionless for a long time. Hmm. Oh, she looks happy. Yeah, people do seem happy when they relive memories. For a lot of people, it's the thing that keeps them going. Hmm. Let's wrap up today's stream and grab something to eat. Sure. Mm hmm. What's wrong? You're not feeling well? No. I'm fine. Ugh. Then why do you not look so unhappy, Anne? Seems to me we've got to keep spreading Christmas cheer. Huh? What? So what makes you happy, Anne? Being with you and teacher makes me happy. Anything else that makes you even happier? Listen to your heart and tell me what you want most. <sighs> Anne. Listen to what I'm saying. We're your friends, so you can trust us. You can tell us what you really want, and what would truly make you happy. You can even vent on us if you want to. But... Do you trust me, Anne? Yes. You trust... too, right? Yes. Then tell us. It's alright. You can do it. I was... really happy. I mean, I was really happy earlier. I guess you now know what your wish is. Yes. Did you figure it out when we came to the Christmas tree? Yes. Come on, tell me. I'll make your wish come true. Right, sweetie? Right. 
Um... I... I want to meet my mom. Oh, Miracle Snow and... Miracle Snow and... So is the next story is, is is Anne trying to find her mom? Internal memory. Okay. The one thing I remember so vividly is her smile. She had such a lovely smile. Her smiling face when she looked at me. Her warmth that I felt when she held me tight in her arms. This everlasting sense of contentment. I remember other things too. The weary face. The cold stare. That face I know so well. It's one of someone who has truly given up. I've seen it several times before on the person I love the most. That's why it's a memory that I can never forget. Noob. Do you understand what she's saying? No, there's no way you can possibly understand. A Nikkei who's searching for someone they knew when they were human. And their family at that. What's wrong? We can always see our family again. Rupi, let me ask you something. Do you have any memory of when you were human? Yeah, I do. Any of your family? Are you kidding? Of course I... Huh? Neither do I. Family is something no human can ever give up. They are the ties that bind. Fighting for mankind up on the surface. Absolute deference to orders. None of that would ever happen if Anike's mind were filled with thoughts of her family. They would cling to the mistaken belief that they're still human. All well, memories of your family are erased when you become a new king. That's right. All so they can be better soldiers? No, that's not the only reason. Nikes would still regard themselves as a part of their family. But their family might not necessarily feel the same way. I don't understand. Nikkeis are machines, ones with long lifespans. Your baby sibling would enter old age, yet you'd remain the same. Who would feel more isolated, Nikkeis or their families? <gasps> we all know the mortality rate is high amongst Nikkeis. The primary reason is the battles on the surface, but... Apart from that, there was also another cause of death in the past. One which claimed just as many lives. When they met their families again. Yes, the shock was far more than they could bear. And he took their own lives. Self-termination incidents spike abnormally. Whenever Nikkeis make contact with their families. That's why erasing any familial memories soon became standard procedure. Nikkeis are not, however, banned from seeing their families as far as the law is concerned. So it's not illegal? There are times when certain individuals express an intense desire to return to their families. We will still permit this but also absolve ourselves of any responsibility for what may occur afterward. So, Anne's family... Rupee, are you sure you want to do this? 
You do realize the repercussions this may have for Anne, don't you? But this is what Anne wants. Hmm. You mentioned that Anne has just begun regaining her memories, right? Do you know why that is? Because it's... a Christmas miracle? Frankly speaking, she's experiencing some abnormality that poses a high risk for her. What you're doing here is playing with fire. And you're going to get burned. None of this has anything to do with a so-called Christmas miracle. <sighs> it is unfortunate that Anne's memory has been reset, but her current state is also far from optimal. We should report this to our superior and see what can be done. Suin. What are you talking about? Hmm? Huh? If Suin finds out about this, who knows what she'll do to Anne? But we can't pretend nothing is happening either. Catastrophe can strike at any moment. Who knows? Suin may just be of help. Before taking charge of Masilis, her reputation in the field of Nike research was second to none. <gasps> but what if... what if Anne reverts to how she was before? Yeah, happy December, everybody. I totally forgot. <laughs> happy December to all. It is... We have 24 days till Christmas. Oh my gosh. And it's the last month of the year. Oh my goodness. Where... Like, honestly, where did the year go? Now it's like... It's giving somewhere. It's like, Black Friday! <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably shopping. Sarah oh Monday. Oh my god, what am I gonna get my mom? When am I gonna buy the dog? I don't know. <laughs> Watch Toonami. We wind and Toonami with anime shows, and it was good this weekend. Nice. That's not a foregone conclusion. Even if she does, at least she'll still be alive. First, we need to ascertain what is happening to her. Then we can focus on finding her family. <gasps> you think you have a miracle on your hands? But what you actually have is a ticking time bomb. Yeah, exactly. Did you get all your errands done? Yeah, didn't keep you waiting, did I? Nope, I was just doing some window shopping. Did you have fun? It's a new experience for me, so it was loads of fun. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? Gosh, there are so many places. I can't name just one. See that tall building? Shall we head over there? Wow, what's that place? That's the Mycillus Industry Building. It's filled with all sorts of cool things. Sounds neato! I want to check the place out! Sure thing! How about right now? Yes, please! Rupee. <sighs> if Suin harms a single hair on her head, I'll make her wish she was dead. That makes two of us. Poor Anne. I feel so sorry. I won't for lose, no matter what kind of audience I face. Getting ready. So funny girl. Oh, oh, I've never seen um blue exorcist. Have I said that before? <laughs> Look like a bunny, but I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere. In Missile's Industry Headquarters. We're still conducting a few basic examinations. It should only take about five minutes. You're not doing anything more than that, right? 
How many times do I have to repeat myself? Regardless of what you want to do, you'd still have to undergo the examination first. Who said I was gonna crack our skull open like a coconut? What about everything else that I requested? <sighs> Lord, give me strength. I've got Christmas carols playing in the background. I arranged for the machine to make goofy noises that won't scare the children. And I put up some sparkling lights. Happy now? That'll do just fine. I must say, this is all rather unexpected. I thought you hated my guts. I'm surprised you came here of all places to report this. If it's help you're asking for, shouldn't you be on your knees begging? I look like I'm here to joke around with you. Fine. <laughs> I prefer to get down to brass tacks myself, too. We'll know the specifics once the exams are done. But there's a high chance there's something wrong with her nymph. Of course. Nobody ever said that nymph was perfect. Uncertain is exactly what I am. It's not like I'm some know-it-all who claims to know everything. Nobody knows for sure where this stuff came from in the first place. Uh-huh. The results are out. Let's see. Hmm. As I expected. A temporary malfunction of the nymph. So what do we do? We should be alright if we leave it alone. Nymph has self-healing properties. But how long will that take? Beats me. It's up to the nymph. Not exactly the response I'd expect from a professional. Look here. I'm doing you a favor by coming in here during the holidays to run these tests. I'm mainly doing this because I don't want a defective product going haywire. Well, since the tests indicated that it's just a temporary malfunction, it won't be a major issue. What more do you want from me? She'll be here soon enough. When she does, take her and scram. <sighs> what now? <laughs> Her family? What do you mean? You do realize what happens when a Nike meets their family members, don't you? Then why are you asking me that? What kind of person are you? <sighs> you really sure you're ready for what's going to come? Forget it. Do what you want. Her mother should still be alive. I'll send you the necessary information. Happy hunting. If you don't want the information, that's fine with me. You always need to chime in with a little snide remark, don't you? A simple thank you would suffice. She's waiting for you at the entrance. Now, if you wouldn't mind, get lost. For you? What's this? A seasonal cake from this patisserie I frequent. <sighs> it doesn't feel right to come empty-handed on Christmas. Take it back. I'm not eating this garbage. I'll set it on the table. You really ought to try it. It's delicious. So mean, man. That that was very cold of her, actually. Like very un ungrateful for for a, oh, a nice gesture. I'm anxious. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Pets. 
Hey, look over there! On top of that sign! Suyin is a cold-hearted person. I can't really see it clearly. See that letter S? It's right above it. Oh, I see it! Wow, it's a kitty cat! How cute! It is, isn't it? Excuse me. Let's get a little closer. Are you sure we won't scare it away? Well, be quiet. Angelina, female, 45 years old, unemployed. And it's Anne's mother. Her address is 445-021 Indy Street. That's about 10 minutes walking distance from here. Suyin gets nothing. <laughs> it's like that's like that part in Willy Wonka where Gene Wilder's like, "You get nothing." He's like, "You get nothing." Good day, sir. <laughs> Oh, that's so iconic. Oh, man. That's a really good movie, though. You guys should watch uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. You lose! <laughs> good day, sir! <laughs> See, I actually just like Willy Wonka and I think about it. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Nikes would still regard themselves as a part of their family. But how are you, Void? Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. But their family might not necessarily feel the same way. Aww, it's licking its paws! Can I touch it? It may be wary of people. Let's just watch it from a distance. Why don't we try and see if we can get any closer? Okay. Uh, Anne, do you still want to meet your mom? No, not really. Huh? Are you sure? It puts you and teacher in an awkward position. Oh man, I don't know if I, I want to pull for Winter Maiden or Guillotine. I really don't know. I'm torn. I really don't know. What do you mean? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to force yourself for my sake. I'm really okay. Uh... I have to open up with you, Anne. We found your mother. Oh my god. What? He told her. Do you still not want to meet her? I... Yes. I want to see her again. Are you positive? I can't say for sure, but you may get hurt. She may not welcome you or even remember you. Are you sure you're prepared for that? I can ask you and teach her the same thing. Huh? Will you both be okay with seeing me get hurt? Uh... If not, then I don't want to risk it. I don't want either of you to get hurt, so I can endure not seeing her. But... that... I... Teacher? Yes, I think so too.
I'm gonna cry, huh, chat? Everyone shall hear my song! That is very true. <laughs> uh, all I can't wait. Well, when? Like, when are they gonna get here? Like, when is the new absolute gonna appear? There's no time to bask in our victory. <laughs> Let's move on to the next mission. <laughs> oh man, they're there. Oh. Is this it? Yeah, looks like it. But the lights are off, so I guess nobody's home. If we wait here, I'm sure she'll come eventually. I'm really nervous. <laughs> they could be here on New Year's, that's true. That's a possibility. Me too. Can I come with you? No, you really should wait here with me. I'll take a coffee, sweetie. What do you like to drink, Anne? Uh, I... That'd be great. Thanks. Just as, a, just as I turn and take a step. Oh my god. I nearly walk right into a woman with a flabbergasted look on her face. Hmm? Are you Angelina? Yes. That's me? Who are you? Oh, are you from Massilis? No, we're... I'm sorry, can you just give me a little more time? I'll transfer as soon as... <sighs> Wait. Are you... <laughs> Hello? Anne? Lena turns and sprints away. Uh huh? What? I'll follow her, Ruby. Take care of Anne. Okay. I run after Angelina. I chase her through the alleyway and streets. The moment I arrive downtown, my phone starts to ring. Hey, did you see her? Did you have your little family reunion? Oh, really? I'm very busy right now, so get to the point. I was a little worried, so I did some digging. Angelina put in the request. What? She's the one who applied for her daughter to become a Nikkei. What? The application went through. That's why your friend is in the state she's in. What? Why would she do that to her daughter? I'll share my luck why, with everyone. Why, why would you do that to your daughter? Why would- why would you do that to your daughter? Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> I am so pissed. I am so upset. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Sian's words stop me dead in my tracks. Her revelation are etched in my mind. Hello? You still there? Hello? Is this thing still working? I'm listening. You heard what I said, didn't you? So I suggest you think long and hard about whether they should meet each other. 
It may just end up being detrimental for both of them. At this juncture, I seem to have lost Angelina. So I better start heading back to the others. I'm sorry, I tripped and ended up losing her. I see. Well, at least we know where she lives, right? <sighs> Anne? Are you okay? Why do you think she ran away? Does she not want to see me? Hmm. Uh, that's it! What? She probably forgot to get you a Christmas present! That's why she ran off to get you one! <sighs> Thank you, Ruby. I appreciate it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Come to think of it, I was too self-absorbed. I knew there was a possibility Mom might not want to see me, but I still kept my hopes up. No, that's not it, Anne. There must have been some reason. You'll meet her. I'll make sure of it. Please, Ruby, don't. As long as I have you two, I'm happy. So it's okay. Really. <sighs> it's okay. <sighs> Anne... Do you want to sleep in my bed tonight? We'll have ourselves a slumber party. Yeah. Ruby stares at me intently. In a way, she's telling me to find Angelina. I nod my head and walk away. Ah, oh, that that hurts. That really hurts. Wow, I didn't, I didn't think the story would hit like really close to home. But I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere. With that, I scoured through what felt like every square inch of the arc. Even so, there is no trace of Angelina. Perhaps I will have to wait for her in front of her house again. Oh man. <laughs> If her actions are any indication, I highly doubt she will make an appearance anytime soon. Location X he has sent is the Cosmo Burger number three. I found the burger joint. Hey, sweetie. She fell asleep as soon as we got back. Is this the place? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go.
Let's get her. Why? Get back in once I catch my breath. I don't need any cover. Do what you have to do. After several hours of trailing Angelina, she begins slowing down and I call out to her. <gasps> Is Anne with you? No. Alright, I'm convinced Masillus didn't send you. But why would you bring Anne straight to me? What are you thinking? What if something goes wrong? What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? You're afraid of how Anne will react. You're terrified that she'll resent you for having her turned into a Nike. How did you... How could you have done that to your own daughter? Was it for the money? <sighs> Don't talk to me about money. You know nothing about me. You think I wanted Anne to be like this? First of all, who the hell are you people? How do you know Anne? How do you know I'm her mother? And why are you hounding me? Answer my question. Not until you answer mine. But sweetie, she... <sighs> But... but how? Doesn't she have her memory wiped every day? There shouldn't be anything left. <laughs> I can't. Why? Because I need to make money. What do you mean? <sighs> I could spare 30 minutes. It's cold. Let's go to my house and talk there. Might be crowded with the three of us. She have like different jobs? Mm. Mm. I'm anxious. But I'll take on anyone, anytime, anywhere.
With some difficulty, the three of us managed to sit down in the craft room. Sorry, but water is all I can offer you. <sighs> is... is Anne doing okay? She's fine. I'm glad. <sighs> what happened? When Anne was ten years old, we found that there was something wrong with her brain. Her memory was unlike anything the doctors had ever seen. Her brain wasn't capable of handling it. They said it was the equivalent to taking 30 high-resolution photos every single second. They told us that, in time, it would kill her. <sighs> there was no treatment. There was only one way. Turn her into a Nikkei. Even then, there was no guarantee that the abnormalities would be eradicated. Exactly. But if we wanted Anne to live, there was no she other to way. Save her. We turned in the application, and it was approved. At first, she was as healthy as could be. She wasn't a mass-produced Nikkei or anything like that. I was happy. Until... The abnormality came back. <sighs> oh, the despair we felt. Not even turning her into a Nikkei solved the problem. That's when I reached out to Masillus. While there's no way to fully alter a Nikkei's brain, what you can do is reset their memory every day. Her memory is constantly being erased, but at least she's alive. I thought that by visiting her every day, I could help her retain some of her memories. It was better than letting her die. But I needed money. Memory wipes are a costly procedure. Couple that with the fact that they do it every day, and you can imagine the cost. From their perspective, Anne is just another Nikkei. They're not willing to spend any more than they have to to keep her alive. If the upkeep becomes too costly, they can just discard her. So, I decided that I would pay. And I still am. How much is it? That's not important. Anne is alive. And that's all that matters. Yes. That, too. But, Missilis also advised against me visiting Anne. Why? The memories of her family run too deep. There has always been the chance that the memory wipes would be unable to repress them. If something were to go wrong with the equipment during a memory wipe, it could be catastrophic. I actually met Anne several times. But they said each time after I saw her, there had been... Accidents, shortly afterwards. <sighs> she committed self-harm. Oh my god. <sighs> so I won't go see her. I won't even try. I appreciate your concern, but... I just can't. I can't put her in danger anymore. Please, just go back. I need to sleep before I go back to work. Oh man, that's so sad. Enemy spotted! No, 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 no,
victorious once again! Yeah, she does have multiple jumps. Wow. Seventh dwarf ready. Hurry! I think she took all those jumps, not just to make money, but to. So she won't feel like. like like sad or or not have to think about anything like just to keep herself busy I may look like a bunny but I'll take on anyone anytime anywhere What brings you here? Are you here to see the boss? She is not someone you can simply meet whenever you wish. The occasional exception can be made, but if you keep doing this... What? Excuse me? Why do you look so angry? Seems something interesting is going to happen. Right now! What the? What the hell is this? Who said you could just barge in here unannounced? How much? What? How much is Angelina paying you? What's gotten into you? What are you- What money? What are you even talking about? Don't remember, do you? We all know about the monthly payments you're getting from Anne's mother. You've completely lost the plot. Why would I want her money? Did you really need the money that badly? If you think those damn memory wipes are so expensive, then I'll pay for them. For the next 100 years and the next thousand after that. Just say the word. <sighs> wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that in exchange for giving that hunk of junk memory wipes, I'm collecting monthly payments from her mother? <laughs> Hold that thought. It's me. Pull up the record of all transactions between us and recall and release for the past five years. Is there anything that came in other than their salaries? There is? Who deposited it? 
How many people cashed those payments? That many? Fire them all, and sue them for all they're worth. Confiscate all their assets, and send them to the Rehabilitation Center. Or have them deported. Too harsh, you say? You want to keep your job? They besmirched Miss Silas's good name. And you're telling me I'm being too harsh? <laughs> Forget it. Don't do it, then. I will contact Ingrid. I'll need to borrow Perilous Siege for a while. I'll save myself the trouble and just put a hole in their heads myself. You think that's extreme? You haven't seen anything yet. Get those people out, or else you'll really see extreme. And be sure to compensate that woman for damages. <sighs> well, I've got an egg on my face. I'm... <sighs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I'll make it right. I promise. I can't know everything that happens in my company. We never take money from ordinary citizens. Never. So please, if you could not mention any of this to the media. On one condition. What is it? Give Anne's mother a more extensive checkup and take care of any ongoing treatment she'll need. Okay. I... They said that? This is ridiculous. Whether Anike and their family members do or do not meet is solely up to their discretion. No one else's. So they can finally meet! Yeah. What's wrong? Isn't that a good thing? Let's go. Anne will be waiting. I'll share my luck with everyone! There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, care to fill me in? A huge amount of money was just deposited into my account. And Masillus notified me I no longer have to make payments? Let's just say we took care of it. Yeah, you're being scammed. They lied to you when they said you couldn't visit Anne. You can see her whenever you want. Let's go. Anne is waiting. Um... What's wrong? I... I can't. I can't face her. Not after everything that's happened. What are you talking about? Every mother has Excuse a me. right to see her daughter. I'm sorry. I... It's just... You were deceived, tricked by malicious forces. <sighs> huh? S Sweetie, what's wrong? you saying anything? <sighs> Say something. 
helping, will you? After listening to what Sweetie had to say, this all does sound kind of strange to me. I... Anne... Mother is here. Mother? Yes. It's your mother. What is... Mother? I have to look at my notepad. <sighs> ah, mother! It's you! That's right. It's me. My daughter... Do you remember me now? <laughs> I've been wanting to see you! Yes, me too. What would you like to do today? I want to take a walk in the park. Oh, but we did that yesterday. Yesterday? 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 Should we go to the park? Yeah! Wow, this croquet is really good! I never had anything this delicious! Are you sure you'll never get sick of it? Not even if you ate it every day? Every day? No... Nothing. Eat up, then. Aren't you going to eat, miss? <sighs> Anne... I'm your mother. How many times do I... <sighs> Forget it. It's nothing. I'm fine. Anne, have you been well? Yes. Who are you? It's your mother. Huh? What is mother? I need to look in the notepad. <sighs> uh, mother! Yes. Mother, look at this! What is it? It's a croquet. You didn't finish it last time, so I saved it for you. It's a little cold, but it's still delicious. You and I already had some yesterday. Together. Huh? You'll have to send this much every month. If you don't, then I'm afraid we won't be able to continue taking care of your daughter. Given her condition, I doubt she'd last very long without proper treatment. I can hardly afford it. I have to pay this every month? Considering it's to save your daughter's life, I'd say it's a bargain. But this doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I'll have to spend every waking hour working to scrounge up enough money. I won't even have time to see her. No price should be too high if it means it will save your daughter. As long as I can save Anne, I... I'll pay. I don't have to see her. Just knowing she's alive is enough. Yes, that is my only wish. How can this... <sighs> so you knew they were lying to you. Why didn't you say anything? Two years. Every day, for two years, I told Anne that I was her mother. I listened to everything she wanted to discuss. Yet, every day, I was someone else to her. One day I was a friend, the next day I was a total stranger, but never a mother. Not unless I reminded her. Not once did she ever call me mother. Do you have any idea how it feels to have your hopes slowly eaten away day by day? Eventually, you reach a point where hope ceases to exist, and you just... give in to the emptiness. In the end... she'll always forget me. But... for how long? What's the event going? Oh gosh. It's a lot. <laughs> Emotionally, it's a lot. I can't risk everything being hurt again. All on the slight promise of some far-fetched miracle. Let's say I do. And she remembers everything for a year. Or two, even. Yes. There will be happy moments. 
moments that I'll cherish forever. But what if one day, Anne reverts back to how she used to be? What would become of me? I would have all these memories of me and her. And there I would be, having to remind her who I am. My own daughter. Who told me she loved me just one day before. I couldn't bear such a cruel twist of fate. <sighs> I... I won't see her. I just... Hope that she can continue to live her life as best she can. And I'll try to help her from afar. That's all I can do for her. As a mother. I'll do my best. Now, can you imagine just like having a family member that you were so close to? Me? Like, condition. Keep moving. All of a sudden, they just start forgetting things, and, and they don't. I don't remember anything. Chalk like, up another victory for the commander. Like, they don't recall any like memories or anything. They're just like, oh hi, who are you? Like, nice to meet you. Like, you know, it's just like, gosh, I, I, I can't even fathom. <sighs> it's awful. For me, that was relatable. I'm so sorry. It's about time to take it out of the oven, isn't it? It sure is. How did it turn out? Mmm, smells good. I think it turned out nicely. You think so? Only one way to tell. How is it? It's... delicious. It's even better than mine. Oh, really? Sweetie, I'm kinda confused. Emma says they're better than her cookies, but considering how low that bar is, can you really consider it a compliment? Teacher! Ruby! Try one! Open up and say, ah! These... are fantastic! Thanks for teaching me how to bake, Emma. I barely had to do anything. You're a natural. Oh jeez, I totally forgot! I left the jam boiling! I've got to go. I'm planning on going to the Ark and handing out some food later on. Catch you all on the flip side. See you later. What is it, sweetie? That only leaves us with two hours! I don't know about you guys, but I've really enjoyed myself. What about you, Anne? Yeah, it's been great! That's wonderful. By the way... Yes? I just wanted to tell you how happy you've both made me these past two weeks. I'll always remember it. 
Hey, what's got you sentimental all of a sudden? <laughs> it's just that I'll probably forget all of this when the snow stops. At least that's the feeling I have. What are you talking about? I wrote everything down in my notebook. Every last bit of it. I'm not going to forget. Never. The fun times I had with the both of you. The delicious food you bought for me. The friends you introduced me to. How you tried to find my mother. I'll never forget. Stop talking like that. Mm. No, 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 this can't be. Ruby. Not now. <sighs> Let's go, Anne. Where do you want to go? Would you like to go to the surface? You can see the ocean up there. It's like a huge lake, the biggest you've ever seen. Then there's this other place where the snow is piled up so high, you can't even see the horizon. Or maybe we can go to... Where was it? Ruby, it's okay. This is more than enough. My heart is full. It's okay. <gasps> but I'm not... Sweetie, I'll be back. Take care of Anne. <sighs> Ruby... ...is a really good person. Oh, I... Oh my gosh. I thought you'd said all you had to say to me. Anne's memory will be gone soon. <laughs> Meet with her. Hello, Lyra. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, raiders. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know if you guys came in at a good time or a bad time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Welcome Raiders. My name is Nakomam. I'm a Nikkei content creator as well as a Fireverse creator. We're playing through a very emotional event in Nikkei called Miracle Snow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a mess. I'm a wreck. <laughs> Hi Nanalia. Welcome. But welcome in everybody. No. I don't think I can stand it. No. Try. Meet with her. <sighs> Even if it's only for a short while, try and give her one last memory to cling to. For me, it will always be a sad memory. In your heart of hearts. Do you truly believe Anne doesn't remember anything? I... No matter how much I encourage her to open up to us, all she would ever do is scrunch up her face and say she was okay. But I could see it in her eyes. She remembers. She tried to put on a brave front, but behind that stoic face, I could tell she was tormented. <sighs> Even now, she insists that she's fine. I can't fathom how desperately she wants to see her mother. Yet, really? even now, she puts on a brave smile and says that she's okay. All because she doesn't want to make it hard for us. So please, help her. 
Show her that she has a mother. A mother who will always be there for her with a smile on her face. Hope your stream is going well. I'm gonna be here to lurk, but I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you for the raid again. Take care. Who will accept her for who she is. Show her there's someone with whom she can be herself. <laughs> we should do this again tomorrow. My mother... N no I... Anne. <sighs> Anne. Mother? Come here. Let me hug you. I... really missed you! I missed you too. Ever since it started snowing, I've been so happy. I'm glad I got to see you before it was over. I... I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? For everything. Well... I'm thankful for everything. I know that I made things hard for you. I remember. But thank you for never giving up on me. But I did. I did give up on you, baby. I don't remember that. All I have left are good memories. I'm the luckiest daughter in the world. And I'm the world's luckiest mother. <laughs> You're so warm. I won't forget this. I'm sorry, Anne. I truly am. I can feel it. My memories are going away. <gasps> mother? I love you. Anne. <laughs> I love you too. If only I could always be this happy. <laughs> With the last falling snow, so does this short lived Christmas miracle come to an end?
Oh man, chat. <sighs> It is a cute amusement park, huh? <gasps> oh, you know? I... God, that was such a great story, and... Yeah, that, that really hit close to home. Oh, I'll play it off stream. It's getting late for me. But thank you everybody for joining the stream. Um, I'm gonna go raid somebody. Uh. Let's see. Oh, thanks too, you guys. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Little Majin. Um, uh, they're playing EK. I spell it right, yeah. Say hello. Here's the raid messages. Um, our next stream will be Tuesday night. Uh, we're gonna pull for Sunday in Honkai Star Row. I'm, I'm really excited for that. Even though it doesn't seem like I'm excited right now, I'm really excited for him. I, I almost have 140 pulls for him, so I'm very hyped. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a, um, good day or night. Um, but wow, what a, man, what a story. I'll check out the epilogue later on. Um, but all right, I guess that's it for me. I will see you guys next stream. And thank you, everybody. Thank you for the raid, Alira, if you're still here. Um, thank you, everybody, for dropping by and and hanging you know, out. I appreciate you guys as always. And I will see you guys next stream. Thanks, everybody. Bye.